Do you feel like certain foods are flaring your eczema? One of the most common questions I get in my practice is about how diet can affect your eczema. Hi, I am Dr. Martin Smith. I'm a board certified allergist and an eczema specialist. So first up, there is a lot of misinformation about the relationship between food and eczema. I will start by saying that certain foods can contribute to making people's eczema worse or cause a flare up but foods are not the root cause of eczema and eliminating foods is not going to be a magic bullet to cure your eczema. Foods that trigger eczema varies from person to person and different types of eczema may also be affected by foods differently. That is why there is no one size fits all diet that I can recommend to reduce eczema symptoms. People often ask me, if a food makes my eczema worse, am I allergic to that food? And the answer is not necessarily. A food that makes your eczema worse could be an allergy, but more frequently it can be a food intolerance. Both allergies and food intolerances can produce inflammation, which can make your eczema worse. So more often than not, eczema starts in childhood. And eczema is considered a huge risk factor for kids developing food allergies. Basically, if you have eczema, your skin barrier is damaged, you have little micro cracks in your skin. Food proteins can then enter through these cracks inadvertently when a parent has touched a food or prepared a food and then touches their baby skin. So this child can then develop a food allergy even before they ingest that food. So from studies, we know that eczema develops first and then the food allergy not the other way around. Studies have shown that kids who have eczema and then develop a food allergy to egg or peanut have a more severe course of eczema and is usually prolonged and persists beyond the age of five. Food allergies are much more likely to trigger an eczema flare in kids than adults, as many adults have outgrown their food allergies, especially if it is to something such as egg or milk. Food allergies can vary from an immediate anaphylactic type of allergy that causes immediate hives to form, or a more slow reaction called food exacerbated eczema, where it can cause an eczema flare to develop after hours or days after the ingestion. If you or your child have a true food allergy, then eliminating that food from your diet can drastically improve you or your child's eczema. But instead of eliminating a whole group of foods, we direct the elimination to one or two foods that have been proven to worsen the eczema or bring on another clinical reaction. The most common foods eliminated usually include egg, the protein is actually found in the egg white, and that is the allergen. Next up is nuts, peanuts, also some seeds such as sesame and flax seeds, and then also soy, wheat, milk, fish, and shellfish. As I mentioned, we don't usually eliminate all of these foods. We pick the food that has shown to cause a reaction and has shown a positive skin or blood test in the allergy office. These elimination diets are often revisited as allergies change, we can retest you, see if you're still allergic, and actually do an oral food challenge to see if you have a reaction to these foods. One form of eczema called dyshydrotic eczema, a very itchy type of eczema where little blisters form in between the fingers or on the palms of the hands or the soles of the feet, there is something called the dyshydrotic diet where we recommend people avoid foods that are high in nickel and cobalt as a proportion of people with dyshydrotic eczema actually have a systemic allergic reaction to these metals. Ingestion of these foods can then cause that dyshydrotic eczema to flare. Foods high in nickel include legumes, nuts, oats, soy, and chocolate. Whereas cobalt-rich foods include nuts, oats, green leafy vegetables, like broccoli and spinach and fish. Now let's pivot and talk about foods that can trigger eczema through food intolerance and increasing inflammation. Let's talk about the controversial ingredient gluten. Gluten intolerance affects about 6% of the US population. Usual symptoms include abdominal pain, bloating, diarrhea, you can have headaches, anxiety, and depression. There isn't robust data to show that gluten intolerance can worsen eczema, but I can tell you I've seen it anecdotally in my patients, and some patients find when they avoid gluten, their eczema does better. Now, it is important to distinguish gluten intolerance 
from an actual wheat allergy, which is that anaphylactic type of reaction you get from the protein in wheat itself. And there is also celiac disease, an autoimmune disease, where you form antibodies to the protein gluten. Celiac disease can cause a rash that looks a lot like eczema called dermatitis herpetiformis. It often appears on the backs of the elbows here or the fronts of the knees. Next up, certain foods contain high levels of histamine. That is that allergy chemical that can cause you to itch and swell up. People with eczema often have a higher baseline level of histamine in the blood and they may also struggle to break down this histamine. Some small studies have shown that a low histamine diet can actually be helpful in such patients. Foods high in histamine include alcohol, including wine, beer, and champagne, and fermented foods such as sauerkraut and aged cheeses, also processed meats, certain vegetables such as tomatoes, eggplants, and spinach, tropical fruits such as bananas, papayas, and pineapples, fish, especially mackerel, tuna, sardines, and herring, and also shellfish, strawberries, nuts, and peanuts, and lastly, licorice, chocolate, and pork. Finally, let's get to foods that I recommend all my patients with eczema eat less of. And these are sugars and processed foods. Now, while these are not a true allergen, they do cause a lot of inflammation. These then release pro-inflammatory mediators, which cause inflammation all over the body, including the skin. And I have seen people go away on vacation eating a lot of processed food and junk food, and then their eczema flares aggressively. So eczema is a complicated disease and unfortunately avoiding one food or a food group is not the magic cure to eczema. If you are allergic though, or you have an intolerance as I discussed, this may reduce the intensity of your eczema flares or the frequency of your flares. Feel free to comment below with your questions and I will answer them as best as I can.